welcome back the news and details. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi held a meeting on Monday with Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli, Ministers of Interior, Agriculture and Local Development, as well as the Governor of Kafr sheikh and the Deputy Governor of Bahira Governorate. Presidential Spokesman Councillor Ahmed Fahmi said during the meeting, President al-Sisi was briefed on the latest developments and exerted efforts for securing the agricultural lands and challenges facing that issue. The spokesperson reiterated that the president directed the concerned bodies to continue following up on measures of protecting the agricultural lands from any violation attempts. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi underscored Egypt's firm stance of rejecting of the Israeli collective punishment policies, stressing that Egypt will never approve deporting the Palestinian people from Gaza into the Egyptian territories. This came in a phone call that President Sisi received from the American President Joe Biden. In the phone call, President Sisi affirmed the necessity of reaching a humanitarian truce to boost intensive efforts done by Egypt in cooperation with the United Nations and all international parties to deliver humanitarian, medical and relief aids to the people in Gaza. The two presidents also discussed the current security situation in the Middle East and the importance that the conflict does not expand into the region. They both agreed on pushing efforts to increase the aids in a tangible and sustainable way and with quantities that meet the humanitarian needs for the people in the Strip that are facing huge sufferings. For his part, the U.S. president asserted the United States' rejection of displacing Palestinians outside their lands expressing his appreciation to the huge role of Egypt and the Egyptian leadership in this crisis. Foreign Minister Samah Shukri on Monday stressed on the necessity of enforcing an immediate humanitarian truce in Gaza, pointing out to the dangers of an expansion in Israeli occupation forces ground offensive in the Strip. Shukri made these remarks as he received a phone call from the Czech Foreign Minister Jan Lepavsky on the recent military escalation in Gaza. The foreign minister asserted the importance of concerted international efforts for providing sustainable aid to the Strip to alleviate the suffering of Gazans. Egypt's top diplomat also received a phone call from his Australian counterpart, Penny Wong, on the Israeli aggression in Gaza. The two ministers exchanged points of views on an assessment to different paths for carrying an urgent humanitarian pause in Gaza, which would allow a safe, sustainable access of relief aid to the Strip. International Criminal Court Prosecutor Karim Khan visited the Rafah border crossing between Gaza and Egypt, where he expressed concern on the situation in the Gaza Strip. Khan asserted the importance of providing relief supplies to the Palestinians in all conditions. He noted that there should not be any impediments to humanitarian aid going to children, women and men in the Strip. The International Criminal Court has been investigating possible Israeli war crimes and crimes against humanity in the occupied Palestinian territories since 2021. An Egyptian television reporter at Rafah border crossing said on Monday that some 60 trucks were prepared ahead of dispatching them to Gaza via the land border outlet. The reporter said the convoy, the largest of its kind since the start of the Israeli aggression in the besieged strip 24 days ago, is part of Egypt's efforts to make a turning point in the aid file in coordination with international institutions and civil society organizations. The move came as international aid shipments kept converging on Al Arish International Airport to be inspected and sent to the border crossing, then accessed into Gaza. According to the UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, OCHA, some 33 trucks carrying water, food and medical supplies had entered Gaza on Sunday through the Rafah border crossing. At a press conference in El Arish City, the Egyptian Red Crescent Society's chairman in Northern Sinai, Dr. Khaled Zaid, said on Monday that the number of countries sending aid to Gaza so far reached 19, along with 14 international institutions. He stressed that Egypt was at the forefront of these countries sending aid to fellow Gazans. 
Zayn noted that 600 volunteers are working in the Sinai governorate since the crisis in the Gaza Strip began with Israeli bombardment and blockade. He said that the volunteers have worked for up to 7,000 hours continuously in cooperation with both the Hamasr Fund and the National Alliance for Civil Work. Khaled Zaid said the volunteers are receiving, sorting and reshipping international humanitarian aid, relief and med medical shipments sent for Palestinian brothers in the Gaza Strip. Welcome back. Egypt's stock market indices collectively went up in the trading session on Monday after selective purchasing operations by local, Arab and foreign investment funds reaching high rates and exceeded profit-making selling operations by individual investors. So the benchmark EGX30 index jumped by 1.51%. The EGX index for small and medium businesses also gained 0.29%. And the broader EGX 100 index also rose by 0.38%. Meanwhile, the market capital of listed companies gained 23 billion Egyptian pounds to close at 1 trillion and 596 billion and the transactions of about 36 billion pounds.